As billionaire investors start to swarm around the Walt Disney Company, one investor in particular is making waves. No, it's not Bob Iger's best friend, Mason Morfitt from Value Act. No, it's not even Nelson Peltz we're talking about today. It's Jason Aintabi who has come out with another fiery hot press release that Bob Iger must read or else. Let's talk about that on That Park Place. Good morning, I am Jonas J. Campbell, and we have breaking news. I was looking through the SEC filings, and I found this one. On January 22nd, Blackwell's Capital LLC issued a press release, a copy of which is filed as Exhibit 1. I looked at the Blackwell's website to see if I could find a more easily read formatting of this. Uh, It's not even on their website yet, but Blackwell's Capital files preliminary proxy statement for Disney's 2024 annual meeting. They already filed a preliminary proxy statement, so this is just here to... uh, I guess communicate more of Jason Aintabi's ideas about how the world should work. Blackwell's Capital, a shareholder of the Walt Disney Company, last week filed a preliminary proxy statement with the Securities and Exchange Commission in connection with its nomination of three highly qualified candidates, Jessica Schell, Craig Hatkoff, and Leah Sullivan, for election to the board of directors of Disney, the board, at Disney's 2024 annual meeting of shareholders. Shareholders are faced with three competing candidate slates at the 2024 annual meeting. Yes, that's true, uh, because the... Disney board has nominated themselves and Trian Partners has nominated Nelson Peltz and Jay Rasulo. They haven't said who they're going to be uh, putting those two candidates against yet. And of course, uh, Blackwell's Capital here with uh, Jessica Schell, Craig Hadkoff and Leah Sullivan. Uh, they're coming in as well. Jessica Schell has uh, some level of media experience. She's worked in uh, some uh, executive corporate roles at NBC Universal. Uh, Craig Hatkoff is a real estate guy and Leah Sullivan Uh, She founded TaskRabbit back in the day. In our view, only Blackwell's highly qualified candidates are in a position to support Disney's transformation efforts, adding expertise that is demonstrably lacking. I love that word. While making sure the Disney board doesn't become a forum for personal grievances and reckless behavior. (laughs) I guess shots fired there. Uh, We can count on this guy to keep everything cool and balanced, right? Mr. Personal Grievances and Reckless Behavior. Moreover, Disney's preliminary proxy statement paints a picture of a board focused less on transforming the company and more on preventing contrarian viewpoints and expertise from entering the boardroom. Uh, This guy came in and he was all like, no, we support Bob Iger. And now he's talking about uh, how Bob Iger is preventing contrarian viewpoints and expertise from entering the boardroom. So he's kind of agreeing with Nelson Peltz here uh, in his efforts to, quote unquote, Help Bob Iger. Jason Aintabi, Chief Investment Officer at Blackwell, said, According to Disney's own preliminary proxy statement, Mr. Peltz has requested, on behalf of Trian, a seat on Disney's board no less than 24 times in the last year and a half. Oh, I guess he can count those, right? During that time, Mr. Peltz has not offered a single strategic idea that would benefit shareholders. Astoundingly, Mr. Peltz recently claimed that he would like a guy who doesn't have media experience on the Disney board. I'd say that's a misrepresentation of what was said. Um, You can, of course, go check out our coverage here if you want to see that amazing interview with CNBC. We reminded Mr. Peltz that Disney is a significant media company. Oh, I'm sure he forgot. Now more than any time in its history needs board members with deep media experience. Blackwell's nominee Jessica Schell has more media experience than the Trian nominees combined and would bring a critical perspective that is missing from the Disney board. I guess they don't consider... Jay Rasulo having 30 years of experience at the Walt Disney Company to be experienced. Jessica Schell, was she the Internet of Things person from Warner Brothers and NBC Universal? We also invite Ike Perlmutter, who represents the vast majority of Trian shares to Disney. This is completely false. I guess he hasn't actually read. He's already misrepresenting what Peltz said, and now he's uh, he seems to have also ignored that Peltz is the largest shareholder in Disney. Uh, including Ike Perlmutter. Uh, Ike Perlmutter has uh, 1.3% of the company and Peltz has 1.76. So that's uh, 25% more than Ike Perlmutter. But who wants to sweat the details when we're talking about a multi-billion dollar company? To engage with Blackwell's with regards to our investment thesis for Disney. Oh, What's your investment thesis? And to meet with our nominees, Mr. Perlmutter can then consider that our nominees will provide critical support in the areas of media and content, technology, and real estate, the latter of which we believe represents up to 50% of the entire market value of Disney. Ouch. Ouch. That is... That is not what I would want to hear right now if I was Bob Iger. If he's saying that half the value of the company is the land on which which they produce uh, their their movies and also the theme parks. Um, that is, 
that's that is a incredible insult and also if you're looking for someone to come in and try to sell stuff yeah you would want to know how much that real estate is worth otherwise the value of the real estate is essentially not important because it has no realized gain in value so yes if you're trying to sell large portions of walt disney company real estate then a real estate guy would be very important but continuing on, and where, underwhelmingly, Disney has no such expertise on its board. Additionally, with unprecedented innovation in AI, VR, and AR, and more, Disney will benefit from Mrs. Sullivan's experience on these fields, which is underrepresented on the Disney board. Sure, um, I guess. I, I don't think that's actually true. I think Disney probably has more experience in AI than people are letting on in virtual reality, virtual reality and AR. Disney's been in the virtual reality space for a very long time. There was a great video of uh, Mr. Smoot, one of the most amazing Imagineers I have ever seen doing that hollow floor thing. I don't know that that necessarily qualifies as AR or VR, but uh, it's really neat. In listening to the views of Disney shareholders since the time of Blackwell's first public engagement on Disney the late, late last year, there has been an increasing desire by shareholders for additional support to Disney's board, provide provided it consists of additive expertise and constructive collaboration with existing board members. He's saying that the board does need to change because they have no expertise in media. The Disney board has no shortage of issues to resolve or courses to chart during this transformative time. Additional expertise should be welcome, not brushed aside. This is, by the way, this is the guy who came in and said that if any of his candidates win, he put a proposal on the docket to say that also the Disney board candidates that didn't win should still be on the board. So, uh, He's got some gall, this guy. He's got some nerve. I, I, I will say, he's very bold. Mr. Iantabi concluded, the Disney board should promptly meet with Blackwell's nominees in order pr to promote the free-flowing exchange of ideas that comes with constructive collaboration. On a related note, we remain particularly disappointed that Disney has entered into an information-sharing agreement with Value Act. Disney's share price already suffers from a significant information discount. I don't know what that means. As recently noted by several key market analysts, it sure would be nice if they cited that the way that Disney or uh, even Tree and Partners cites that. Showering one shareholder with information that is withheld from all other shareholders will only make matters worse. I really don't see how sharing information with Value Act is really that big of a deal, as far as the Disney company itself goes, at least. I, As a person who has information that is held by the Walt Disney Company, I would not want another third party coming in and knowing everything about me without me signing off on something. But I suppose I did that when I signed my end user license agreement on almost anything that they uh, sell me. We therefore also demand that Disney agree to make public all information that is shared with Value Act under the so-called information sharing agreement. Wait, are they, is he calling for a list of what kinds of information is sent out or is he asking for that information to be made public? Because uh, that is unclear and that is definitely not what I am here for. Oh, and here is my absolute favorite part. Here, all the way at the bottom, they did have 115,000 shares. It looks like they've raised it up. They now have 128,000 shares and maybe 30,000 more here. So with that, I am going to switch screens. And we can go and look at my handy Excel spreadsheet that points out all the people who own shares in the Walt Disney Company. These are the tiny people that own a little bit that have uh, signed their lot with Pelts. This is how many shares that Peltz owns. He owns 1.76% of the company. This is Ike Perlmutter. He owns 1.4% of the company. And down here, there's Third Point, who uh, owns one-tenth the number of shares that uh, Trian does and has a seat on the board. So if you say that Trian doesn't have enough shares to get a seat on the board, then uh, you might have a question why Carolyn Everson has a seat. And now uh, Blackwell's, I'm going to be very generous and I'm going to put both of those amounts together just to be sure uh, we put them at the maximum amount. We see that they own 1% of 1% of the company. So one one hundredth of a percentage of the Walt Disney Company. And let's see uh, what happens when we round that out. Yep, yep, it's actually under that. So do you think that Jason Iantabi from Blackwells is gonna get himself three seats on the Walt Disney Company board? Uh, let us know in the comment section down below. Of course, like this video if you like this video, share it out on social media if you know someone who might be following the Disney Company proxy fight as it is heating up. And of course, please consider subscribing to That Park Place for all the news that should be fun. Thanks for watching That Park Place News. For more information, consider checking out www.thatparkplace.com. And don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and send this out on your favorite social media accounts.